Okay, picking up where we left off, the next step is to fill out our Discuss profile. So in order to do that, we simply want to be in a blog post or an actual blog article and be reading that. Notice uh, we can get into comments right here. But one thing that we want to do first is go in here and log in to Discuss. So click on login. If you did not have an account, you would register a new Discuss profile. Since I did create one, WordPress example. This will allow us to log in. And immediately it's already recognized my profile picture. But I want to go in and show you how to change that, update that, and move, um, manage your profile. So the first step is you can click on dashboard or edit profile directly. So if we go to edit profile, this will pull up the profile section. Fill out your name, website, this would be your website, location, where you're located in the world, short bio, and whatever information you want in there. The avatar uh, is where you could upload a new picture from your computer. So if you wanted to do that, you could put that in here. You could upload a new picture from the web. So if you knew the URL link, you could use that. You could stick with the site's default picture. I don't recommend that. And for Facebook users, Twitter users, you can pull your account and profile picture from there. So I didn't change anything, but you would want to make sure that you save changes and resize the image. Let me show you how that works real quick. And if I save changes here, it's going to ask me to verify and resize and save changes. And save changes. Now, services. You can use this to share comments on Facebook, Twitter, Google, Yahoo, OpenID, Tumblr, WordPress, which uh, if you had your own WordPress blog, you could connect to it as well. And so I recommend that for all of you as well to go in and get your own WordPress blog. Notifications. Enabled, send me notifications, yes. And I like to subscribe to threads that I comment on because I want to know if somebody comments on uh, the, the, the item again and it starts a good dialogue and continues it. So I just click Save every step of the way. And this is my account. Um, I would click here to verify. You do want to e email uh, verify your account. So if I say click here to verify, a verification link was emailed to you when you first created this account. Please click on that link. Well, if you didn't get it or it was in spam or junk or something like that, just have it send again. And it will be there in a matter of moments. So to give you an example, this is already here. You're receiving this email because you've chosen to verify the Discuss profile. Complete your verification. Click. Thanks. Your email address has been successfully verified. So now we're verified, we've updated our profile picture and our alert settings. So at this point we could really log out and just make sure that this is working back on the blog site. So I want to actually just go back to the blog. I'm going to close this down. I'm going to go in here, which I believe I logged out. So if I reload it may still remember that I'm logged into the website or the blog site. Uh, no, it did not, so it changed this back. So if I go over here, I need to log in. I could also log in using this button. And now WordPress example is my username. You could also fill in your email address. and now we're ready to post and make comments you can also add images uh, so let's say we looked at an image here and post as do or nap now this post comes in right here with an image. 
If I want to edit it, I have the opportunity to edit it since it's my post. And notice anybody who's verified, you should be able to get information about them. Take a close look at this line because your bio will fill in right here. So make sure that you're using this well to talk about a very you know single sentence, maybe two short sentences about you. And then again, I could edit a reply. I could choose to like uh, another person's post. So Mary Elaine, I could go in here and say, wow, I'm glad you're here too. I liked it. I like that. And these folks, if they were um, set up properly, or when they are set up properly, they would also get a notification that somebody liked their comment. So I hope that helps everybody in getting started and getting going. And one more thing, I'll just kind of go through these things. You should use these likes and dislikes appropriately. For most of us, everything on the blog that we're going to partake in is going to be a like. We're not looking to get negative results on most blogs. But if something's inappropriate or you don't like it, vote. Let people know. And then over here, um, the community profile would kind of be nice to watch that build out and talk about who's the most liked. I made two likes, so Deborah and Mary Elaine, you're number one, both number one in this, uh, in this example. So congratulations. And we'll keep growing and going, and we'll see more faces pop up in here for new faces, and we'll get to learn more about each person as well in the community. So hope that helps everybody. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me directly. Um, you know a couple of my email addresses, but the, the easiest one is cyctwd at gmail.com. I hope that helps everybody, and happy blogging.